British Columbia once again leads the country, but social activists say this is nothing to be proud of. It is no accomplishment. For a sixth straight year, B.C. has the highest child poverty rate anywhere in Canada. The province's Child and Youth Advocacy Coalition released its annual report card today that shows 156,000 children in B.C. are living in poverty. The Minister of Children and Family Development isn't embarrassed by those numbers, though, and says child poverty in the province is actually at a 20-year low. Last year, I made $12,000. Kirsty Allen was living and working in Tofino when her husband left the country, leaving her to raise their three-year-old son. And I found myself living in a community with incredibly high rents, very limited childcare resources, and a low-wage job. Allen struggled to make ends meet for the next eight years. If you can't get childcare when the work is, your situation becomes really impossible. The single mother is one of thousands of people whose son is counted in a 2009 report card evaluating child poverty in B.C. Despite a very strong economy in 2007, our child poverty rate in B.C. was 18.8%. This means that there were an estimated 156,000 children living in poverty. And that's more than the combined populations of the cities of Prince George and Nanaimo. Public health advocates meeting in Vancouver called the report an embarrassment. Their research shows children living in poverty are more prone to addiction and crime. And the public health officials attending this conference say the numbers support those findings. Here in Vancouver and on Vancouver Island, people living in the poorest communities tend to have higher rates of ill health. Including uh, higher blood pressures, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, arthritis, and, and certainly a, a much increased burden of mental health problems. The person responsible for children in the province says she isn't embarrassed that B.C. leads the country in child poverty. We now see the lowest child poverty rates in B.C. in almost 20 years, and in one year alone, according to the market basket measure, we've seen the child poverty rate drop by 17 percent. So under our government, we'd, we've seen continued declines. But critics expect those numbers to rise again, given these latest statistics were taken at the end of an economic boom before mass layoffs and rising unemployment. For Kirsty Allen, four months into a full-time job with the federal government, her life is finally changing. And with it, a new hope. My hope is that everyone who's struggling right now because they've lost their jobs actually takes a minute to think and to realize how precarious our social safety nets are and they actually use their power to vote for social change. That's what I hope. In Vancouver, Stephen Andrew, A News.